Hello, my name is Tajayla Darius, and today I'll be discussing the aspects of diversity and oppression. As it relates to um, videos that we watched outside of class, chapters that were read, and audio files. The first video that I want to discuss is the Essential Blue Eye video. The terms that were used in this video are race, oppression, advocacy, privilege, discrimination, and stereotypes. In this video, Jane, who was the experimenter, used her white privilege to advocate for brown eye people, for blue eye people to understand the difficulties of living life as a brown eye person. Um, she pointed out how society supports oppression, discrimination, and stereotypes against brown eye people. In the next video, Bling Black in America and Ask Me, the terms that were introduced were intersectionality, race, ethnicity, culture, sex, resiliency, and discrimination. Um, though these were two different groups of people, they still had the same struggle. Um, in the Being Black in America video, not only was the young man speaking about males being killed but more specifically black males being killed and in the ask me video the students were discussing their identity um they preferred to be identified in a certain way based on their sexual orientation um and some preferred to be identified in more than one way both of these exa examples discuss intersectionality. Um, the Ask Me and Same Love video were very uh, relative. They both discuss gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, human rights, religion, unity and diversity, and validation. Um, not only did these videos relate to being black in America, but um, these videos, I'm sorry, they shed light on the issues that the students discuss with um, concerns towards their professors. Um, they wanted people to understand that it was a simple question to ask. Um, don't assume based on their appearance. Um, and Macklemore, he showed appreciation and acceptance of their differences, which is an example of validation. Um, in the next video, the three deadliest words, it's a girl. The terms that were discussed were age, culture, annihilation, populations at risk, gender filter, the pro-woman's perspective, um, consciousness raising, socialization, social control, and political ideology. Um, and also um, human rights. Uh, the video talked about the gender side of women and how much of an epidemic it was um, in the Asian and Chinese culture. Not only were women's human rights being violated with forced abortions, but the population was at risk because of the high number of boys as it was to girls. Um, and Globalization was an example in this video because it is so big that it has turned out to be a global issue, um, not just a Chinese in, um, I'm sorry, an Asian and Chinese issue. Um, the next, well, this is the audio by um, Gairo Gomez, um, The Seven Kids in the One Apartment. He discussed um, his living situation. Within that, he stated that his family were lower class and they were victims of poverty, I guess. Um, I'm dealing with the effects of poverty. Uh -huh. He showed uh, the strength perspective and his resiliency when he found that getting an education was his way out. 
Um, okay, my next video that I want to talk about is the environmental justice video and the S. Rainey and Jay Stimpley video. Um, the two women from New Orleans. Um, these videos discuss class, oppression, environmental justice, populations at risk, marginal marginalization, economic inequality, and personal as political. Um, in poor, low-class neighborhoods, people are forced to live under unbearable conditions. And these conditions, they, in they include po um, pollution and just toxic waste. These two women, they bought homes in a lower class neighborhood that were built on top of a landfill. Um, and they were populations at risk because a lot of the residents were dying from cancer and nothing is being done about it. The next uh, videos I want to relate are environmental justice and um, taking root. In the taking root video, Wangari, which is um, an activist, she started the Green Belt movement her and other women. Um, she discussed the importance of process, power, privilege, poverty, pro-women's perspective, empowerment, community development, social participation, mutual support, sustainability, social development, and production, distribution, and consumption. Excuse me. Um, Wagari discussed the importance of the people in the community um, pursuing their own needs and not waiting on the government to provide for them. She stated, she started, I'm sorry, the Green Belt Movement, which was, which used women in the community to plant trees and restore their sources. This one is an example of empowerment um, and production, distribution, and consumption. Um, the trees, the women planting the trees themselves and providing their own resources and consuming their own resources was an example of production, distribution, and consumption. Um, my next video that I want to discuss is um, the intellectual uh, disabilities video with um miss loretta she spoke on um, intersectionality disability race and economic inequality um she gave us a background of her story um which ties into intersectionality not only was she disabled but she was also black and with being black she was treated poorly by peers and bullied um which also caused, caused her to be oppressed and depressed. Um, <laughs> a, a big factor that Loretta also stated was the fact that most people who are disabled aren't eligible for health care. And that happens in a lot of instances um, that the people who need it the most aren't able to get it. Um, and that was all. Thank you. Thank you.